All right, in this video, we are going to draw our first Gantt chart, or just a very simple example of a Gantt chart if you've already seen one before. Basically, it's just a, it's a simple tool for helping us with planning and scheduling of a project. So in this project, we have four activities, A, B, C, and D, and there's some logic here. Uh, these predecessors mean what has to be done before you can start it. So for activity A, there's nothing that has to come before it. It's at the beginning of the project, uh, whereas activity B can't start until A is done. Uh, activity C can't start until activity B is done, and activity D can't start until activity C is done. All right, and they each have some amount of duration here in days. So let's use a piece of graph paper here. Uh, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. Uh, and let's just, first things first, let's label our axes. All right, so now we have our axes done. All we want to do is draw in our bars. Uh, where on the Gantt chart, the horizontal bar for each activity represents its duration in days, and it's placed sort of uh, where it begins and ends. So, activity A, it comes at the beginning of the project, there has no predecessors, and it's two days long. So each one of these is one day. So we'll just start here, and I just chose blue. Uh, you know what, let's actually use a straight line, I think that'll be a bit better. Just chose blue for no real reason, whatever, it looks nice. Uh, so there we go. Activity A starts at the beginning, at zero, the beginning of the first day, whereas this would be the end of the first day. Uh, and its duration is two days, so one, two. Perfect. Okay, so activity B, it has to start after activity A is done, so it can't start until the end of the second day, and it's three days long. So you find the end of the the one that comes with its predecessor, A, uh, which is right here, and then you go one, two, three days out. And there you go. So that makes sense. If this one's duration, if A's duration is two days, and B's duration is three days and it has to come after, that's gonna take us five days to get to the end of B, and look at that, we're at the end of day five right here. Okay, so activity C, it has to start once B is done, so B is done here, and it's four days long, so we have one, two, three, four, just like that. And lastly, we have activity D, uh, so we're gonna find D, we're gonna come out, it has to start once C is done, which is this point here, and it's three days long, so one, two, three. And there you go. This is our very simple Gantt chart. Uh, hope that helps you get the idea of what they are. And in the next example, we're going to do a slightly more difficult Gantt chart.